Hi, my name is Rick Hedeman. and I'm with RSA, the Security Division of EMC, and I'm going to talk to you today about uh, RSA Archer eGRC. Um, and let's start by defining what we mean by GRC. Uh, it means a lot of things to a lot of people, um, so if we have some common terms, I think that would be a good place to start. So, if you talk to people in the industry, uh, they'll talk about governance, risk, and compliance. Uh, but that means different things to different people. Um, compliance, for instance, may mean um, you know, complying to a particular legal mandate, but maybe it's complying to an internal policy mandate. Risk could be financial risk, could be IT risk, uh, could be geopolitical risk. There are a lot of different types of risk that people might be referring to. And governance is this kind of amorphous term that um, is, is really hard to get a handle on. So um, what I want to do is talk a little bit in terms of an analogy um, about how we think about governance, risk, and compliance to try to give you a better handle on how we think about it. So if you were to think about this in terms of um, you know, automobile uh, law enforcement, um, you driving your car around, speed limits, being caught by the police, and so on, you know, risk might be well, what's the risk of not having a stop sign at a particular intersection? You know, maybe it's not a risk, but maybe it is. So there are rules that get put in place to address the risk. Stop lights, uh, speed limits, and so on and so forth. Governance is, really, how do we enforce the rules that we put into place based on the risk. So that, that's your legal uh, framework, it's the police, it's the laws. And then ultimately compliance is how do we enforce that we're actually adhering to those rules. So that could be your policeman actually using a radar detector or a camera, you know, actually enforcing that rule. So just an example, uh, to try to hammer in what those terms mean. Now, how did we get to this point where we're actually trying to manage GRC? Um, because this is sort of a new term and people are trying to get a handle on it. Well, GRC has really arisen out of many different business groups, silos, managing their risk and compliance in different ways. So perhaps it's a business unit dealing with their financial risk. Or perhaps it's a horizontal group dealing with financial risk across a particular organization. Um, but the net effect is, in this day and age where we've got a lot more requirements around compliance, say SOX compliance or PCI compliance or HIPAA compliance or other kind of legal requirements around privacy, breach notification, there are hundreds and hundreds of these things now. Um, the increased risks, which we're seeing in the news all the time about adversaries, security risks, not to mention geopolitical risks or even environmental risks, if you look at uh, some of the earthquakes and uh, hurricanes and so on that we're running into. So the scope of this has gotten dramatically larger over the last decade or so. So the old process of managing it in silos is really no longer scalable, and it's unbelievably expensive for organizations now. So EMC Archer was born out of addressing these in an automated kind of a fashion to be able to enable um, our customers to do a much more effective and cost uh, effective job to speed this process. So um, what it actually is, um, is a software product. It's a web-based software product. Um, that can run in a hosted environment um, that's bought by module or functional area, which we'll talk about in a bit more detail when we go into how it works.